Yes, my viewers and my subscriber, it is your boy Bonnie again. And I am here to have another little talk. Now the talk that I'm gonna have today, I'm bringing up this because me and Big Super, Big Super Road Blogger Jamaica, have a one-to-one -to -one today. And I want to share this one-to-one -one with you, my viewers, because if any of you out there listen, to me and Big Super conversation, and you have any idea about what we're talking about? Are you ever been in the situation where you do or understand or involved in any of this? This is the time for you to get into the comment section and chat to me or send your voice mail out. Let we know. And if you ever want me and you, to have a conversation like this, you can WhatsApp me and we can do this type of talk because I'm going back into my school days and the reason why I'm doing this, Big Super was walking in Yalas. He was walking between Yalas Pan and Yalas Square and Big Super was talking about mango and by touching this mango situation, it just bring back some memory, some memory to me and cause me to start to reflect back into my youthful days and some situation and some things that we passed through in life. So, me and Big Super was messaging one another and talking. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play this WhatsApp message and you, my listeners, will hear the conversation that me and Big Super have. And as you hear the conversation, I want you, my viewers, to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel them. Yeah? Because we are here to give out information and receive information from you a lot. So, all right. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go without any doubt or any situation. I'm going to go straight into the message them. I'm going to go straight into the message. And I'm going to start off from me first. Yeah? I'm going to start off from me first. So let's start here. Oh, it's a good gin water, yes. You see that mango is the best mango. Yeah? Right. So gonna, all you can do... I'm going to go back on that one. Big super. Me vex with you, you know. Because you are sure them nice East Indian mango. And me the England where you know East Indian mango tree, you know, there. And you are talking about people more than gin water. Well, yes, my mother got gin water, yes. You see that mango is the best mango. Yeah? So all you can do, make a parcel, buy half a dozen of them, pass them, and ship them over to me. All right? All right, respect. All right, thank you. All right, listen to Big Super now. Yeah? Listen to Big Super now. Boy, me can't laugh. Me can't laugh. You know me, they have watched one of my videos them. I saw some people call me and say, I said, I met the head of them, you know. Some people call me from all Dubai and Germany and say, Big Super, you make great art. You will stop showing them mango because you make great art. Because right? <laughs> 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 some of them left from here and now come back, you know. And they left no return. And when they look and see the nice East Indian mango boy, they must pack up. I can't let me out for long. No, some of them live with the intention to come back. But when they look at my video and say, the East Indian and the, even the hairy mango, I said, John was started at that real left. <laughs> Big Super, let me tell you something. When it comes to hairy mango, yeah? When Friday here come, I'm going to go to Jamaica, I'm going to grow up. We go to the bush and we look. Bucket, the white bucket, them full of year mango who come home, and all mom and dad and sister and brother, we all slung around that with full of water. We just throw a bucket of water into it, and we have another beast on the side, and we do it in the night. So when we eat the year mango, there we don't want no light because whatever he into it, we don't want to see them. And I shot them in the body, we go by the phone carry now, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, when we are eating year mango, there we don't want no light, yeah. Cause we don't want to see what we are eat. We just want a mango we are eat. So whatever come in, I for them business. 
Yeah, so you're a mango man. Me no, me no bash you're a mango man. And enough of that, me eat, man. Enough of that, man. Me and my family and say, what the skin and the seed are going to want? So don't bash them big super. Try them, man. Try them, yeah? All right. Me, I tell you, the two make and them, we don't want to dash with the mango, them. Me, I'll go back to the one. You see, the man I confess. Them full of bo- Boy, I tell you, I want to be using them mango in the darkness. <laughs> Well, people, me talk about it, you know, people laugh, you know. Some people want to say something really good, so. But me, I tell them, say, here a mango, me tell them the two mango, they make, they carry the most word. Here a mango, and I think blacky mango, too. Blacky mango, nice, though, you know, man. But blacky mango, sweet. And worm full of blacky mango a lot. <laughs> and me, I tell you, the two me, can them, you know, one dash with the mango, them. Them, you see, the man I confess, them full of buckets of water and put the mango in the night in a darkness and sit down and eat them. So tomorrow, it's the next man, and I'm look for the mango seed. I pay a black blood. <laughs> but I'm full of worm like what? <laughs> we must find out from a medical personnel, you know. But after, after, after the name, after the name, the mango, them with the whole of the worm in the night. What the worm them do to you, know? We must find out, you know. I don't know, we must find out if them worms, because they are a parasite. <laughs> if them destroy your body, or your body destroy, well, obviously, like your body destroy them. Well, you know, say, back in them days there, how the system, how the system the design. You just pass up at the worm there, you know. Because remember, a season for a season, you know, when mango season done, you will have a next season, maybe with a different set of fruit, to just flush back out your body. Because remember, you have um, beesberry. Yeah, remember, you have um, red fruit, and you have all type of different fruit seeds now come in. And as, so, the same set of fruit, them which part um, pollute you. You have a next set of fruit to clean you out. So, it's like, and then you have picnic, your body are growing, you just sit and one worm out, one hundred worm now, I don't until you. <laughs> All right, big super. Listen to this one. Listen to this one. Big super. I gotta tell you something, yeah. Man, if that ever happened to you, are you ever hear of anybody where this happened to, yeah? But when we was growing up as picnic, our parents used to give us rare medicine to worm us, yeah. No matter where we are growing up, no matter see nobody are here, nobody are getting picnic rare medicine. But remember. When my parents give a rare medicine, yeah, and it's are the truth, then they say you mustn't go to the toilet. You must use the trimmy, yeah? And when you use the trimmy and get up big super, when you look in there, you can count all a hundred white worm. <laughs> serious, serious. This is not a joke business. Speak, speak, yeah? You are a hundred white worm in the trimmy, yeah? We take stick and we pick them up and count them. Look at white room. So if you remember anything like that, let me know. Put that, let me know. Well, me used to take wash out, you know, but me never look at <laughs> Me never <laughs> look at <laughs> kind of room. Me never look at what kind of room. But the one thing me never like with the wash out. Well, wash out good still, you know. But you have a much herb. I mean, you know, let them burn it. One dangerous piece of wash out that, but see the much herb. When it, me, me did have one neighbor, I say, but if your mother, while well, mother herb gave me every week, why well, I don't know what she did that trend through times, so, but I tell you. But when my son tell me the man over there, ball, say, nah, drink no more. <laughs> nah, drink no more. <laughs> Yo, I run, them have to run me down, you know. They give me mother herb, you know, them have to tie me up. And they say, he say, I want me drink the mother herb, and near if you don't drink it, it come like, the whole like just come back up. You know a drama with me and the mojo herb thing was, it come like, say, the mojo herb thing would have like, you know, like you go up and some suicide something. <laughs> it tastes bad, it smell bad. It, man, we don't know if they make the mojo herb there again, but the one thing we know is when time you drink the cup of tea, a mojo herb, when that operates your system and done with you, you light like cock, everything come out of you, nothing you can't left back, you light, all if you drink water, it does a fly through. <laughs> <laughs> about a week 
No, no can't stay on your body, clean your own man. Uh, the pit, and then it's like when the holiday come in, they go to clean out the pit of them, you know, by the to go back to school Monday morning. Them fresh again, you know, and ready for the road, you know. Yeah, man. All sulfur bitters. Lord God. You know, so the pit there, boy, them escape a whole heap thing. They really are living at one time when they escape a whole heap thing. Because they now get no much of herb. They now get no sulfur bitters. They now get none of them ointment, them medicine there, you know. And the medicine there was to go back to school September morning. You have to trench out with your herb and your, and your sulfur bitters. Mm. <laughs> they try to say, I can't remember nothing else. And then lose all the coconut. The natural coconut oil, then take a highly raw coconut oil, you know. <laughs> but come on for the, where, where, which part? The, the raw coconut oil, you make for the coconut oil. Mm-hmm. I eat oil here. <laughs> yeah, when them, them clean off the hair off your head and ball it and highly it, shine with coconut oil and the oil your skin. When I tell them, man, the bees would have swam you. <laughs> the oil has shined. <laughs> Yo! Then bees are the nice. Yes, sir. Uh, you know. mm-hmm. Big super. It's like you're bringing back some history to me. I remember the days when we used to wear like short trousers, short, short with khaki trousers and khaki shirt, right up above our knee. And when we are going to school, and see them coconut oil, we take and rub with face, rub with hand, rub with foot. And you got ask when you shine like a looking glass. <laughs> but your khaki, you know, because your mother press your khaki and starch them, you know. So you see him stand up in them like, whoa. Yeah? But a beer foot, we got ask you, no. Beer foot because we don't have no shoes. So all the old foot shine and we khaki press and thing. That's so how we got ask you, but big super. You know my days, yeah, we used to carry a thing called slate. I don't know if anybody remembers slate, yeah? We used to carry slate, go to school. With um, it have one wooden frame, a wooden frame around it. If anybody remember that, let me know, yeah. And then sometimes when we are running out of school now, and the, 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 the slip we fall long, and the slip gone ahead of we you know. But by the time you pick it up, the slip broke up in all three pieces, you know. Oh man! So what you do? You carry the biggest piece of your school, and you take a broke up piece and write pan it. Yeah, man. So if you remember, look at the taxi. Something wrong at the back of it. Private car. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> it, big super, may I watch your video? I yell us when you pass the police station right now as me attack. <laughs> so, <laughs> may I watch the car and mash up outside the police station as me attack. Anyway, look at the taxi there. Mash up. That one, they burn out. Look how much mash up car outside the police station. See the market up there, so. Yes, big super. So we are talking about school and um, car kill choices and exercise book. We so carry exercise book to school and we so cut it in two half. So me get half and my sister get half. One pencil cut in three pieces and we used to argue who are going to get the rubber part from who are going to get the other part. <laughs> so yeah, man, all these things are just history. Oh, are just man. history and drama, man. So, you know. If you remember anything about them or something, man, let me know, man. You know, you probably when you go to school, it depends on the, the background where you was or where you was, because you probably go to school in the Kingston, you go to school in the country. So, big up yourself, man. All right, so we catch up some more time, yeah? I uh, respect, respect. Big super. I'm saying it is so nice to know that I can literally stay in the UK. And having a talk like this with somebody back in the Caribbean, Jamaica, where we're born and grow. Because I'm telling you, the youth, them nowadays, they don't know nothing at all about the whole time days, them. Nothing at all. You know, as I'm talking to you, I'm just remembering some stuff, like when I was going to school, that it was carrying pound, shilling, and pence. I don't know if you know anything about pound children and pence. But them days there, I could go back into some, some history in a them days because when I was going to school, I used to get um chopants, chopants for lunch. Sometimes we're lucky we get six pants. But this thing called marble is a history because listen, me not read really or write good. 
because of the same marble game. Because when we got to school at the time, marble game was more interested more than education than time there. You know? And may I tell you, when they catch up on school, Chopans would do a lot with Chopans. And because we were so good at the marble, we used to play marble and sell. So you guys go to Chopans and you play marble and you win and sell and win and sell. And you come home back with a whole heap of money in your pocket and a whole heap of marble. So, you know, them, them they are just history for me, man. History for me, Big Super. So it's nice talking to you. And, you know, this, these things is just something that we need to really talk about more because the youth, them nowadays, they don't have no experience about even the gig. You were talking about the Ningum by the tree and how we used to make gig with them thing there. Listen, man, when we make gig, we used to mark a ring and put a stick in it. And in that ring, we say pink is one head, pink is two head, I will go to all ten head. And then when you, if you lick out a stick at ten head, that man have to put on in gig, in you know, that nigger or that. A man, for me gig, you know, the nail we use make it is like a, one of them ten penny nail, you know. So it's fat, but the pint of it sharp. And when they drop that all in a smart guava gig, you know, it just split it right into, you know. So these are history, you know, them you the number days I grew up, they don't know nothing, man. They don't know nothing. All them know about the internet and social media and them stuff there. But let me tell you something, we can go right back, man. Yeah? So it's nice talking to Big Super. Big, big respect to you, man. Thanks for thanks for this little um, um little talk, you know? One love, one love, one love from the UK, one love Big Super. Big up to all of Jamaica, yeah? Peace and love. Yeah, man, Bonnie, may take a while to get back to you. Yeah, listen to you, just listen back to your voice, no, them. And thing. When me, you know, my day, slate, they just take them and come out. Yeah, me, that one little piece of slate. So, me get me catch piece of the slate. Slate was for maybe. Yeah, with that regard, slate is not a good technology. Because when it broke up everything totally, yeah, you know, you can't restore no, no information upon slate. Book and pencil work out better than slate. But I guess. Oh, well, then they have not the time to really work with it. And then they have the, then they have the something that they, the board where you slide the, you slide the bead them down on one end when you account, you know, you slide them up at the next end and the A, B, C, something there. So, them days are the good days, cause, you know, are the more peace and love days, them days there. Uh, yeah, man, so, you never born in the penny here, penny thing there. You know? Yeah, me come catch. We come catch a tail in it. Yeah, the tail end of the penny, a penny. And I left something there. So, we never get to spend it. Come in at dollars and cents. And thing. Come in when the Chinese, they might bring in the, the different, different season in the country. Yeah, man. Anyhow, bless up yourself, you know. We go up on the road. Bless up everybody. You know, the positive. You know, the big super fans club. More love to you all. Peace out. Yes, my viewers, so as I said, this is a little talk with Bunny 7 UK and Big Super Road Blog in Jamaica having a little one to one and sharing it with you, the viewers and the subscriber. So, for you, Big Super viewers, and for you, Bunny7 viewers, thank you very much to tune in. And if you have something to share in this talk, yeah, don't forget to leave your comments, subscribe, share. There is more like this to come. It probably not with Big Super directly, but look out for more video like this in the future. Yeah, look out for more video like this in the future. So. At this moment, I'm just going to say peace and love. And we will catch you on the next video. Don't close the video because in the back of it, there's some experience in the back of this video with my garden in the UK telling you about liquid fertilizer. So continue to follow the video to the end. God, I'm out. Catch you. Remember, don't forget to like and share, comment and subscribe to the channel. It is your boy, Bunny. I am out. Bless up, bless up, bless up. My viewers, every year I have saved my peeling skin right through the year to make liquid fertilizer. 
and today I'm gonna show you my viewers so this is some of my peeling skin and I'm gonna take you into the garden and show you some of my plants them so normally what I do I grow my plants them different so I'm gonna show you so this is some skeleton I have just planted some skeleton in this just planted some skeleton I have Arab experience this year with my plants because a lot of my plants have cut down by slug so I'm not doing much this year but I'm still taking it through and show you I'm gonna come back and show you my liquid fertilizer as you can hear around here you hear something running like water this is how I extract the, the juice from the peeling skin so I'm gonna show you my viewers when it come out how clean it is yeah this is my color low so I just water them that's why they lie down like this I just water them so they lie down really low at the moment so but by tomorrow you see these they come back up and stand up stand up it's called leaf of life you can chew this and suck the juice out of it it's good for belly pain if you know anything about leaf of life let me know let me know yeah. yeah yeah so look at that my viewers see that pumpkin over there or it eat off right to the stunk that's what the slug then do then just bite them off like that so when you see them come up and you think so yes the thing them nice and ready so that is what they do to my garden look at the bee in them this is the runner bee in them see it? they're pure stick pure stick stand up see there so i put some young one in as you can see there's some young one coming up because I replaced them with some younger one after they meet them down the other one down there there's nothing much in it so I just put in some tomato now I just put in some tomato you can see I just put in some tomato on can but let me show you down here so see them my viewers look at that look at the runner being them somebody said me to cover them but because of where them was no I could cover them now but you know something I just I leave them because they're not too bad. But my cucumber, my cucumber over there is doing really good. This pumpkin is doing really good here. So, yeah, they're doing good now. So, I'm going to leave them like that. I'm going to leave them like that. So, what I'm going to show you now, my viewers, is my liquid fertilizer and how I make my liquid fertilizer. Yeah? So, come with me. Yeah. Okay, my viewers. So, I'm going to show you what's my liquid fertilizer is like so my peeling skin that i use every year everything that i i use from banana skin potato skin onion name it everything to do with peeling skin rotten onion name it everything that's peeling it's going into this bucket so what i do turn it over like a, yeah yes, yeah so in here is a rotten peeling skin and if you can look in it you can see what it look like so i throw water in it and then i stir it it look like a mess don't it it look like a whole heap of mess in there look at that my viewers that pig food yeah yeah so see look at that my viewers it look like pure pure mess but it saved me from get fertilizer because every year this is what i do and you can hear it running down into the bucket underneath there so I just keep stirring this every so often like that it probably smell you can't smell it but it have a little smell to it really. but every here this is my so you can do this if you have an allotment or you just farming from your home you can do this look at look now see that so what I do now underneath I'll show you down there so there's a bucket down there with the water running out as you can see this is what the water look like now when that sacred down the way, all right when that sacred down it look like like this so when it's clean it look like that so clean that is so i throw about that in that so now what i do in here I have a bucket over here with some more here and if I throw back that in there 
that's the same thing. So it just keep running out and I just keep stirring. Sometimes I just do it regular and just take it out. Sometimes I re reuse them back. So when I drain them out in the bucket, sometimes I just use it to water the plants them same way. Sometimes I throw it back in and let it run over again. And I catch it. It's See, not running. It become, it's still running. It's running. So that will stay there and that run out like that. So that is what I do. Now over here, if you look, I have some young plants in here. Now what I do with these young plants, sometimes instead of water them, I put them down like that in it. Now what it do, that's some melon, that's a melon plants. And what it do, it suck the water from it. Sometimes I do that, so I don't water it. So it grows faster, more powerful. So this is some melon, melon plants. I already plant some. I think I will show you that later on. So that is it. So that is how you make liquid fertilizer. Yeah, so that's what I use to water my plant. So yeah, so if you have an allotment or anything, just get one of these buckets. This bucket have a hole in the bottom of it, right in the middle, and it just drain through it. So you fill that right through the year, and when it comes to this time of year, you just use it to water the plants them. And that is what I do. I just plant these. That's some mascalian. And look at that. We have a banana tree over there, you know. Spring onions. Scallion. <laughs> it's scallion. My wife come out there and tell me about tell me about plants and me I tell her what it is. Yeah. So yeah. My garden is coming now. But my red peas, I lose my red peas this year because I have to bury them, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Yeah, so I have one pumpkin here, so I have one pumpkin here, so and one over the other side over there. I have one down at that corner. And we have one down at the corner where the one and them is down there, so. So yeah, me watch them for see. What say my plum tree beer this year is a shame. The plum tree beer 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 look at plum. The plum tree is loaded with plum. And the first it beer so much, you know. Look at plum. Look at plum of yours. The plum tree beer 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 beer. It's beer wild this year. First it beer so much. Look at that, my viewers. Look at plum. The tree, beer, 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 beer. Everywhere you turn, it's a big bunch. The plum tree, beer. Look at that. It never bears so much. And the worst thing about it now, the apple tree. The apple tree, not even one, it no beer. Look at it. Two years in a row, it beer. This year, not even one. The, the pear tree, the beer one. Where is it? Kaki drop off. There was one pier in the panel. Kaki must drop off now. One pier was on the tree. Drop off somewhere. Yeah, it was somewhere out. Out there, drop off. So there's no pier this year. No pier, no hopper this year. But it's alright. But my viewers, look at this. Every year I plant this garlic up there, so, and nothing come out of them. This year I move them down here, so, and it look like they might come with some garlic in them. May have a few red peas through it, but look at this, my viewers. Look at the one on them. Look at the one on them, my viewers. Look at the size of that one. On. Look at the size of that. I have never planted one on in my life. First time. And it look at me, I'll get few. Look at the size of the one here. Look at that, my viewers. Look at the size of the one there. But me have some more, I may have to go root out. And now I come to nothing. Yeah, so this is what the garden look like this year, my viewers. So continue to follow me. Look, look some more study, baby. What the bird do the corn? Look at the bird do the corn. They, they pick it. They pick it. Mm. They pick it up. Yeah. They pick up the one there. See my little garden down there, so I just make a little garden. And the reason why I make the garden is because when the kids then come here, they climb up on the wall. So I put this little garden here so we stop them to go up on the wall. So how up they know, try to climb over it. It's not going to take out the strap. If they watch this video, 
Tell me how to cut this trap when I come up here. All right, my viewers, so that is it. That is it. My wife come out and help me to do this little video for you because I can't get the show it full. So she helped me to do this little one. So, I have these patches to plant out the callaloo. We have some callaloo coming and these patch, patches to plant out the callaloo as soon as they come up, yeah? So, continue to follow me, like and share. So that is my water buck. So I catch water off the roof. I catch water off the roof in this spot. We have some rain today, so it's the drum almost full. Yeah, so that is what I catch my water from. So, when we have rain, I catch water and use it when there is no rain. All right, so I can't wait for like the barbecue. The barbecue need to catch up now. So thank you, thank you. I'm gonna lock up my shed and go down. So here, so I have some, I have some color. You know, this one, just put in all this, waiting on them to come. All right, sketch you on the next video. Peace and love, I'm out.